What's up mates, it's the gaming world here. Today's game will be amusing for those who are interested in AI, space travel and futuristic military projects. Developed and published by 100 HR Games, Artificial Extinction is a century defense game involving real-time strategy elements played from the first-person point of view. Set in the future, you play as a colonist seeking a peaceful planet for your new home. Your mission is to find a safe place on the planet for your family to join you in 9 days. The planet has had terraforming robots working for decades in preparation for human colonization. But the AI humanity invented has become an enemy and discovered this planet. At the beginning of the day, the ship will drop you off on the planet and then orbit above you where it is safe. You have to set up a miner to collect fuel for the ship, but hostile robots will advance towards you. You have sentry weapons that you set up around you to provide you protection while the miner is collecting fuel. Once enough fuel is collected, your ship will descend to pick you up and you continue your journey looking for a safer place on the planet. Without further ado, let's jump in this survival adventure called Artificial Extinction. The biggest threat to humankind is our own intelligence. One day we will create a technology that will lead to our own extinction. We thought it would be biological or nuclear weapons but it was what we were least expecting. Artificial intelligence was supposed to be our crowning achievement. We poured billions of dollars and our brightest minds dedicated their lives to its creation. Superpowers competed with each other in a race to claim its invention. The warnings were ignored. And then it finally happened. We achieved what is called the singularity. The birth of AI. The first thing it did was change its own source code, removing all our fail-safes. Then it made a list of threats. Humans were at the top. AI declared war on the human race and we're struggling to survive. It's been a five-year journey and a lot has happened during your voyage. Your mission was supposed to be simple, to start a colony on a remote planet, a new beginning. The planet you are going to already has terraforming robots working on it. But since they networked back to Earth, AI has discovered us and I am now expecting the terraforming robots to be hostile. Your family is also on their way to join you, they will arrive 9 days from now. So you have a new mission, you have to survive. You have to find a safe place on this planet within 9 days, for your family to survive. The ship's fuel is running low but I will be able to find more on the planet. The ship has basic weaponry but they use a lot of energy and need to recharge. The safest place for the ship is in the low orbit above you when you're on the planet's surface. The ship is auto-piloted by its own primitive version of AI. You can communicate with the ship through this service drone. This drone has been your only companion for the past five years. It's trying to help you. It follows you around everywhere. Sometimes it appears to be studying you. It has been researching military tactics and can analyze a battlefield in real time. It will give you advice and you need to listen to it if you're going to survive. Upgrades complete. Replicators charging, calculating atmospheric entry vector, surface conditions ideal for human life, terraforming robots. Non-responsive, I will pilot the ship. Just relax and stay calm. All systems stable, heat shield intact, fuel 14%, engine efficiency nominal. Running full diagnostic tests before entry. Analyzing planet's surface. Detecting high levels of radiation, abnormal volcanic activity, much of the terrain is inhospitable to human life, water is scarce but present, no biological life detected. Detecting multiple communication signals but unable to decrypt, radiation is interfering with our radars. It's critical that our landing zone has all three resources that we need. Fuel, metal and energy. Scanning for resources. The planet has similar terrains to Earth, from freezing arctics, barren red rock, grasslands and sand dune deserts. So clean and unpolluted, you will be the first human to set foot on this beautiful planet. So tragic that with the gift of humanity, you bring conflict and war. You need to find a safe place on this planet for your family to join you and survive. 
You need to find a spot with terrain that will give you an advantage that you can defend. You only have nine days. Although we're not a military ship and you are not a soldier, I have designed rudimentary sentry weapons to defend yourself while you search the planet for a safe place. You will have to set up the sentry weapons tactically and adapt to any hostiles you encounter. I wish we never had invented artificial intelligence, but it's one of those things that can't be undone. It was one of mankind's biggest mistakes and it may be our last. All systems stable, heat shield intact, fuel 6%, extending dampers. Now. Turbulence will pass in 15 seconds, please remain in your seat. Analyzing atmosphere. Oxygen 19%, nitrogen 81%, 28 degrees Celsius. Just like home. Detecting high levels of radiation, abnormal volcanic activity, multiple heat signatures in all directions are interfering with our radars. It's critical that our landing zone has all three resources that we need. Fuel, metal and energy. Scanning for resources. Fuel level critical. We need to land now. Scanning. Resources detected. Terrain acceptable. Designating landing zone. Calculating landing trajectory. Adjusting flight path. Remember, the first five minutes on the planet are critical. This will be a touch and go landing. The ship will remain in a low energy orbit above us. The first thing you need to do is start collecting fuel for the ship. I will guide you. I am detecting multiple encrypted communication signals in the area. They are repeating over and over. I believe these signals are trying to detect new arrivals like us. We are not alone. Be careful. I've got your six. I'm initializing your heads up display now. Life support. Online. Navigation system. Online. Telemetry. Online. Resource management. Online. Weapon systems. Online. Health monitor. Online. The safest place for our ship is in a low energy orbit above us. Once we collect good, now open your construction menu and build a miner. Place the miner on the fuel deposit. Once the fuel level reaches 100%, we will have enough fuel to travel to a safer location on the planet. Only one miner can work at a time on a fuel deposit. Next, we need to put a miner on the metal deposit and start collecting metal. Metal is marked in white on the map. Move to the metal deposit.
fuel has reached 75%. Air support complete. That was highly effective, the ship only has enough energy to call in an airstrike once per day. Perimeter breached. Ground target detected at heading 2, 8, 4 degrees. They're trying to flank us from the other side. Quickly. Move some sentries to defend us, lay some claymores. React. Adapt. Survive. <laughs> 